it can quite possibly be the most frustrating type of fishing you can do. Because these fish move around so much, a lot of it's just guesswork. You know, you're looking for bubble trails, you're looking for rolling fish, anything to give away their location. It is very frustrating right now because we've traveled so far and it's taken so long. There's one right there, just saw one rise. That was a huge one. Where? Right there off that bush. Guys oh, go, 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 man, go. Might be under a log. Oh my God. I can't believe I have a fish on right now. He went under a log. He just jumped down the other side. I can't pull him under the log. Oh my God. Oh my God. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, damn it. Oh man. I'm fishing 80 pound test. One little piranha came over and just nicked my line with his teeth. Scissor cut the end of the line, clean. That was intense, man. My heart is ready to explode out of my chest. Why did I have to end that way? The fish definitely has the advantage back in here. If you can't get them out of here fast, it's game over. I think the, the difficulty of trying to catch one of these fish is also the allure of wanting to catch one of these fish. But what I'm afraid of is that they're too hard to catch. And what's really gonna suck is leaving this country without getting one of these fish to hand. It happens, uh, but I don't wanna see it happen. And I'm gonna go up until the last minute of this trip fishing for these things. Sticks everywhere. Okay, let him swim out. Let him swim out. Here he goes. Oh, oh, that thing is huge, man. You're dealing with sunken logs, sunken sticks, all kinds of woody debris. You're gonna get your line caught on all that and uh, either break the leader or uh, tear the hook out of its mouth. Oh my God, he just ripped out a lock. Holy Okay, we're good. I think I can climb. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Dude, this thing's like 300 pounds. Okay, I'm not sure how the rest of this is gonna play out. Here he goes. Oh, oh, oh. This is a sea monster, I'm shaking right now. Oh, this thing's so big. Come on, baby. Oh boy. My knees are going like this right now. It's gonna take three of us to land this thing. Oh, man. Right. Hey, I need your guys' help. Where are, you gonna, where are you gonna try to land it? I don't know, that's what I'm asking you. Chris has on an absolute monster back there. And now the trick is gonna be where to land it. It's one of the hardest fish to land. I mean, you're standing in a small canoe, so you have to paddle somewhere that is shallow enough to be able to get out of the boat to land this fish. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. He wants to go all the way across the pond. Oh, my gosh. This is a miracle fish. Thank you, guys. Man, I'm so pumped right now. Against all odds, man. To land one of these big arapaima is a multi-person job, and we're paddling hard to try to get to the other side of the shore so we can help him try and land this thing. He's not doing it on his own. There goes nothing. Just let Jose lead the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's not happy right now. Oh boy, this is a big one. I just caught a dinosaur. Oh, trying to get him in here to the shallows. You see him? I'm pulling him in. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. You go under? All right, slowly, guys, slowly. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Dude, it gets all that. These fish are so freaking cool. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. Breathe. Its size, its beauty, it's just a majestic spiritual fish. And when you are able to cradle one in your arms and connect on this level with this fish, I mean, it's, it's actually life changing. I think that's the most beautiful fish imaginable. It's just so awesome. You! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listo? Listo? No. Listo? Adios, amigo. <laughs> yeah! It feels incredible for everyone. I'm stoked for Chris. I'm stoked for the entire team. We accomplished the goal that we set out to do. That shouldn't have happened. That should not have happened. Oh, man. I'm very, very, very lucky to land that fish. The rain has not stopped. I went back into the shallows, saw some oxygen bubbles come up, made one cast in there. Oh, yeah.